But you're a terrorist. You support terrorism. Listen, go. I'm not support something. You do. You support terrorism. I'm not some. Bo- you go. I'm just working here. You're a terrible person. You kill children, not me. What? Go. My kids? What about my kids? You kill children, not me. Go. I didn't kill children. Okay, why is he you here? You know why? If we killed 4,000 Palestinian kids, you know what? It wasn't enough. It wasn't enough. Go. The man you just witnessed harassing a halal cart vendor in New York City has been identified. His name is Stuart Seldowitz, who not only served in the Obama administration, but actually had a pretty high level position. He was the deputy director and senior political officer in the United States State Department's Office of Israel and Palestinian Affairs. Wow. For a long time, okay, from 1999 to 2003. So in that four year period, he served in that very specific role. And it's important to keep that in mind as we show you more video footage of the kind of harassment he engages in of various, I guess, halal cart vendors. So sadly, that video was just a small glimpse of the verbal abuse that he is engaging in. X users have actually posted three separate videos of him harassing the vendor whose identity is unknown for now. It's unknown when each video took place or which like when these specific incidents took place. But the accounts who are posting the video state that the incidents occurred over a two week time period. So that aside, let's get into more of the footage and then we'll tell you a little more about who Seldowitz is. First, let's watch Seldowitz repeatedly make some pretty disgusting Islamophobic comments to the vendor. Did you rape your daughter like Muhammad did? Hmm? Did you rape your daughter like Muhammad? I speak English. You only speak English? No, speak English, no. You don't speak English? Yes. All right, see that just shows how ignorant you are. Because your Muhammad was a rapist. It says in the in the hadith, in, oh, your, in your holy book. Oh Muhammad. What? Oh Muhammad. Muhammad, your your prophet. You know who he is. My prophet. <laughs> what do you think of that? People who use the the Quran as a toilet. Does it bother you? <laughs> Does it bother you? Tell me the truth. I don't speak English. You don't speak English? Ah, that's too bad. That's why you're selling food in a, in a food cart. You're ignorant. It's not my fault that you pray to a criminal. Listen, listen, I'm, I'm working now, okay? Can you leave, please? Go, please. You're not working. I'm, I'm just here. working here, yeah. There's nobody here. I'm going to put big signs here that say this guy is, believes in Hamas. Not only was that Islamophobic and deeply bigoted, um, it was absolute elitist trash. You're harassing a man who is making an honest living. You're looking down your nose at him like that. It's just absolutely vicious and disgusting. There's more. That's just the beginning of it, believe it or not. Okay. I hate that this is happening in America. Uh, and it's now happening to Jews and Muslims. The poor Jewish guy gets attacked in a, in a rally. Six year old Palestinian kid murdered. Stabbed uh, 27 times. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And this, uh, look, this Stuart Seldowitz guy is, of course, a terrible human being. I mean, he should hide in shame for the rest of his life. He said, 4,000 dead Palestinian children, I wish we'd killed more. He, but okay, so there's there terrible human beings across the world, and he happens to be one of them. If you're in any way related to, to him, you should be deeply embarrassed. And, and I know it's not your fault, but you should shame him for the rest of his life. You should never want to be associated with a monster like that, a barbarian who's pro-terrorist, killing civilians and children. That is exactly what terrorists advocate for. And that's exactly what Stuart Seldowitz advocated for. A terrorist cheerleader, that's who that son of a bitch is. Okay, so let's be clear about that. Now, but he's just an individual, 330 million people. I get it, there's hateful people. There's hateful people on all sides, right? And he doesn't represent everyone, not by a long shot. He doesn't represent his ethnicity, he doesn't represent anyone else. He only represents himself, okay? But what I'm concerned about is that guy was in charge of Palestinian affairs for the United States government for four years. I mean, what do you think he did to Palestinians? It makes a lot of sense, actually, when you consider what US foreign policy toward Palestinians has always been. It makes a lot of sense, okay? Now, he has been. 
fired from his job. We'll get to that in just Good. a moment. But he, he's no longer working in the government, right? He had a different job. But I think that unfortunately, his ideology, his hateful, disgusting ideology is what fuels a lot of the policy decisions that are made by the United States government toward innocent Palestinian civilians. This is why I think you know there's without any debate, without any question, constant cover for whatever the Israeli government wants to do. It doesn't matter what the ideological bent is for the Israeli government. Right now it's super far right, okay, to the point where they threaten their own citizens if they engage in pro-Palestinian protests. I mean, that's not something that's supposed to happen in a democracy, but that is what's happening currently in Israel. But it doesn't matter, the US government has always provided cover for the Israeli government, regardless of what they've done to Palestinians. And what you looked at, that, that man that you watched in that video is part of the reason why. This is what he believes, okay? He's defiant about this. I wanna go to one other video, let's go to the next one where he decides to attack and question the vendor's immigration status. But you should learn English, it'll help you. Of course, When they yeah. deport you back to Egypt, I don't know, what's your name? It's not your business. You asked me, now I gave you my answer, you give me it's your answer. It's not your name. What? That's Are you me. there legally? Go. <laughs> Why should I go? It's a free country, it's not Egypt here. Okay, I'm going to go to the police. Go. Why? It's not. Props to that gentleman for intervening, um, I'm, I'm grateful that he did that. Now in case if you're wondering whether his identity has been confirmed, he himself has confirmed his identity to the Daily Beast. He said that he's the one who is in fact harassing the vendor. Stuart Seldowitz confirmed to the Daily Beast that he was indeed the man recorded. The bottom line is yes, it's me, Seldowitz said. And so did he defend his actions? He attempted to. Seldowitz told the Daily Beast that the footage only shows one side of the story. And that the vendor touched things off by expressing his support for Hamas. There's no way that's true. I don't, I don't believe yeah, This guy's deeply racist, we saw it on tape. There's no way he's telling the truth about anyone of Arab or Muslim background, he no asked, way. He asked him if he rapes his daughter. Come on, what kind of a sick man is this? Oh, who would ever hire a sick racist like Stuart Seldowitz? Who, who in their right mind? That you're saying, oh, if I hire that guy, I'm advocating for the death of Palestinian children and, and deeply, deeply racist against all Arabs and Muslims. Going around asking random people he thinks are Muslim if they rape their daughters? Who would hire a monster like that? Why don't you say my company, company loves monsters and racists if you hire a guy like this? Oh, You don't like it when it's public. When you thought you had power over that vendor because he's poor, you were happy to mock him and belittle him and and what you were trying to agitate him until he does something then you could get him what arrested or beaten or whatever you were trying to do but now that it's public i'm sure all of a sudden you caught feelings didn't you <gasps> this affects me my life <laughs> but when you're beaten down on a poor guy who doesn't have any power then you were a tough guy weren't you stuart you're a disgrace to anyone associated with you so just to be clear about what his position was in the government, Seldowitz was acting director for the National Security Council South Asia Directorate under Obama and was deputy director slash senior political officer in the US State Department's Office of Israel and Palestinian Affairs from 1999 to 2003. Now, if you're wondering you know, what happened after these videos were released, you know, there's obviously a lot of backlash toward him as a result of his harassment. Well, we found out that he was employed by as the foreign affairs chair for Gotham government relations, which the Daily Beast has described as a powerful lobbying and political communication shop. This afternoon, Gotham stated that Seldowitz hasn't contributed to our work in years and all affiliation with him is ended. Uh, but as you can probably tell, that statement kind of conflicts with the press release. So there is something fishy. Like I, I, I don't know. Like the press release notes that he's still working for them, but then he claim, but then they claim, no, no, he hasn't been working with us for a while, and he's been relieved of duty. So I don't know. I don't know what the truth is. It seems as though they've let him go. Uh, but I would not want to be that guy's employer. I mean, he's just a ticking time bomb. The fact that he felt emboldened enough to 
speak to someone, a freaking vendor in the streets of New York City that way, tells you a lot of what he feels he should be allowed to do and say. It says a lot about you if you hire that guy knowing his track record, especially given that he hasn't apologized. Look, man, I, I overall, I don't like cancel culture. I don't wanna go and, and have people uh, you know, hounded for the rest of their lives, fired, never can get a job, etc. So, but I just said it in this clip, why? Because the guy didn't even apologize. He has no morals, no qualms, no decency at all. And the thing that sickens me most is that he thought he had power over those guys. That's why he was rubbing it in their face. Ha ha, you're poor. Ha ha, you're Arab, so you rape your daughters. What kind of a sick person does that and doesn't even apologize? And at this point, if he apologized to get his job back, who believes this guy? Come on, that guy doesn't look like he, he doesn't have a non-racist bone in his body. You can feel the hatred from Muslims pouring from every poor. But I'm telling you right now, do not make the same mistake that he's making. Do not double that hatred. He doesn't represent anyone else. He doesn't represent his background at all. He's just an individual, a deeply despicable individual. But do not go around spreading that hatred no matter who it is and, and, and where it goes. Because that, that hatred is what brings the, the, all the poison into the world in the first place, no matter who you're doing it to. Hey, thanks for watching that video. We really appreciate it, guys. And we appreciate it if you become members because that allows us to be independent, honest, progressive, all the things that you don't get from corporate media. And all of that is because of you guys. Hit the join button below and become one of us, become a young Turk.